Jay the night that Diddy tried to sign me because it was a show with Biggie. We you, shit that now you the, you, that was the time when Diddy was hot. What what made you not make that move? You would have been the first, one of the first ones. But didn't you see the car? That you just say, didn't you see the car I was in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was we was getting bread. I, I had the soul. I, I had already the soul. A hundred thousand in the pen. You didn't want to go sign with nobody. Uh, did we was getting seven eight dollars a day. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. How did you how did you end up linking with uh, uh, DJ Screw? How did y'all end up meeting? When, when I first when I first moved to the eighth, right? My homeboy uh, Big E, R.I.P. Big E, Kenny Green Slant, one of the ones in the slab line way back then. They were just, him and Ki- Kiwi and them used to all be jamming the screw tapes. So one day I was just like, man, take me over there. You feel me? So the Botany Boys is who I wind up going over there with. To make our first statement, me and when me and Screw met, it was just so genuine. Cause I, I DJed ever since a kid, so we used to be in there battling DJing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then we just got super motherfucking close. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about super close. So people would be in there like freestyling, like man, huh, da da da. And I go in there, I go in there with all that. Uh, like Michael Johnson, I be dumping for your go-to Peter Rofu, baby. He like, god damn nigga, you you coming over here to really rap? You feel what I'm saying? So. <laughs> We just got so, so goddamn cool, man. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was just magnated, bro. Yeah, so, so, and, and how how was he when, when this first, how, how would he have been? Uh, if I was, if I was like 19, 20, he older than me by like yeah. three, four years. I yeah. Think. So, you know, he DJ'd the night that Diddy tried to sign me because it was a show with Biggie. We you, shit that now you, the, you That was the time when Diddy was hot. What what made you not make that move? You would have been the first, you, one of the first ones. But didn't you see the car that you just said, didn't you see the car I was in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was we was getting bread. I, I had in the soul. I, I had already in the soul. A hundred thousand in the pen. You didn't want to go sign with nobody. Uh, did we was getting seven eight dollars a tape. A, a tape. <laughs> that, that's what I, I know. When I interviewed Lil Kiki, he was like, because I I tried to compare. I was like, man, what the heck did you see in UGK? He was like, man, they had a real tape. They were bigger than us. As far not what I mean by bigger than us. I used to look up to them for this. They got a real tape. See, <laughs> see, uh. Rapping, talking about a tape and having a real tape was two different things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, it wasn't about money for me back then. Man, they got a real tape. I want a tape. I want a, <laughs> man, you can go to Soundwave and buy a tape. Yeah, yeah. You I want that. Music, it was something music, something music city. Music, music. Uh, uh, yeah. Soundwave. Yeah, it was. Yeah. A, a music yeah. asset, Soundwave, yeah, yeah. music city. Hey, listen, big music. I was like, yeah, you can hey, go listen. buy it. This was serious. <laughs> You know, this is real tape. Man, we go in the screw house and we got a cassette that you can, you know, ride on. They got a real tape. (laughs) (laughs) You can go to the store. Yeah, I don't know how much money they making off of. I don't even care. (laughs) I know that people is talking about, man, they hot. You know, pocket full of stones. So, so the thing about it, man, is we we come like I think, man, how we all suffered because we wasn't had the assets to. The bigger thing, we really out the mud. We really people thinking this clean, man. We out the trunking for real. You know what I'm saying? We really doing it like that. So I admired them as far as what they done. It, it didn't matter if they was with job or whatever. They was just learning the game. They could have been much, much bigger. But you gotta understand, we coming from a situation of of they trying to learn the business. They didn't came from being with big time records, and now they over here with job. They doing this here, and a lot of times, man, these companies always try to come. Change you. You remember you seen that episode? Like they had a real they they had a real situation. Right, real. You know what I'm saying? Like they had signed. Yeah, they had signed. So they looked a little different on the shelf. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You feel for real. For real. You feel me? And and by me, man, I was just so loyal. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? You know, my OGs had you know, blessed me and was breaking their neck to do this and do that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then when we got when when I knew Swing and the Bang was out the was a hit and through the roof was the Kappa Beast part of that year. Ooh, man. Every car pass me was playing, swinging the bang. That was 94? Yeah, like 94. Every car. Every car. I, 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 I'm like, damn, damn. <laughs> then next thing I know, it, every time the radio come on. That hoe was jumping. It jumped. Yeah, I was playing it. I know it was jumping. Yeah. I, I know I had to get that, man. That was like drugs, nigga. I had to have it. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Bum brought it to the crib. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What, yeah. what, what what was that day like when y'all first when you first heard? Oh, he it? just he said he's a little cat from Louisiana, ESG, mm-hmm. jamming. 
Yeah, you know I know that's that's real. Like boom, a dog. But I got a, I got a video. I got different clips on my new album that's finna come out. I got everybody on there. Boom, and I even got pimp singing on the hook. You feel what really? I'm saying? Scarface got a bad motherfucker with him. <laughs> Zero, you know. I'm saying hey, everybody on there. Come on, when that coming? Uh, in like two more months. <laughs> yeah, it's called South, <laughs> South Side to Hell, and it's the red tape. Then after that, I got the blue tape. But there's a clip that I use, and Bun is Bun is interviewing me somewhere. Okay. And he walk up, he say, "Now this is the man right here. This the man right here. ESG. Yeah. What's up, baby? What's up, Mister Swing in the Bank? The emotion that's in his eyes for him to say." Just the man right here. Yeah, he was excited. He was feeling that. He, he was feeling excited. excited. Because you, you got to realize, we was, when I was in Port Arthur, it wasn't too many, you know, I always talk about it, it wasn't too many rappers out back then. Yeah, yeah, it was different. And to hear somebody new come out, it was refreshing. That boy was jamming. That boy, that ocean of funk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you know, I, on, got, man. I got clips. That with, ocean of funk went hard. I got clips with Bun talking. I got clips with Drake talking. I got clips with Travis Scott talking. All these different people just talked about me in, at different times. So they just like intro to the songs on there. I got a song with my dog Big Hood from Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's a monster. He go in. Oh, he go in. It's a so. Monster. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.